Although originating in China under the name Penjing, it was the Japanese that created formula and code to this distinct art form. Around 200 AD, Japanese monks engaged in pilgrimages through China encountered these rare and unique container plantings for the first time. Inspired, these monks would return to Japan and cultivate their own trees that would later become known as bonsai and gain worldwide popularity. These original Chinese container plantings, often having unique shapes and odd forms, were collected high in the mountains where conditions are inhospitable to life. The gnarled textures and impossible bends inspired ideas of immortal, divine beings. As urbanization increased in Japan, many Japanese people found it more and more difficult to escape the city life and retreat to the natural world they revered. As such, bonsai offered a convenient way to engage with and enjoy nature. The literal translation of bonsai is tree in a tray. I think that's important to point out because many of these concepts can be very daunting and at times we can lose our confidence when working towards our goal. Just remember, it's a tree in a tray. Bonsai is often called the art of illusion. Creating a large tree in miniature or an old tree with young material. While it's true that some trickery is used in bonsai, in countries like Japan and Taiwan, there are trees that have been bonsai for several centuries. There is no illusion. The trees are old. And as such, I feel that age is probably the most important aspect of bonsai. In Japan, there's a concept known as wabi-sabi, which basically states that everything in life is impermanent, incomplete, and imperfect. Knowing this gives us a new reverence for age, for things that are old. Not all bonsai will grow old, and so we revere the ones that do.